leg adductions and leg abductions, both done in a very similar manner. We're going to be using the chin-up bar with our resistance band mounted quite low here. You could also mount your resistance bar on a sturdy table, a chair, a door handle, uh, anything really that is not going to follow you across the room and provide some resistance. To get set up, I'm going to, for my leg abduction, so using the outer side of my thigh, I'm going to take my band and I'm going to hook it around the arch of my foot. Scrap that. I'm going to take my band and hook it around the arch of my foot. I'm then going to move away from the wall until the band is under tension, so it's not hanging loose, it's under tension, and I can have one hand on the wall for balance. To perform my leg abduction, I'm then going to engage throughout the outer side of my leg. I'm going to keep my chest upright. I'm going to lift evenly away and back in. If I find that as I'm performing these, the band warms and lengthens, I'm going to move away from the wall to keep similar tension. And I'm only going to lift and to the point where I run out of energy to overcome the resistance, or I have to lean in order to overcome my flexibility limitations. Controlled and in. Leg abductions, very similar, except we're going to be targeting our inside leg and the inside thigh. Again, similar setup, although this time we want our inside leg to be slightly in front of our outside leg. Bracing on the wall again if we have to, band around the arch of our foot. This leg is then going to come across and up, across and up. I want to be very careful that I don't let my leg go forwards. I want it to simply pass in front of my leg. If I have a wall here, I could lean forwards to give myself a little bit more room in moving that leg, as for some people it can be blocked by your thigh. Avoid letting it kick forwards, up and up. I also want to avoid twisting in and out. If my hip begins rotating forwards, I push too far. I either need to move further away from the resistance or I need to stop a little bit earlier. Up, that was bad. Up, leg adductions. I want to make sure that I remain upright. I don't let my hips kink back. Up and up. Leg abductions, outer foot is banded moving away so it's under tension, staying nice and upright, lifting in. If I find myself leaning with my torso or bending this inside leg, I'm under too much resistance or I'm lifting too high. I can keep my outer hand on this hip to ensure that my hip isn't hitching up. I want my hips to remain nice and even. And I want to control moving out and moving in. Leg abductions, again, inside leg, slightly further forward than our rear leg, and it's going to come across our body and up. Depending on the strength of your band, your leg may not go particularly far at all, but that's okay, as long as you're using those inside thigh muscles, controlling ascent and descent.